Well, y'all, we are less than a month away from the total solar eclipse. And here's the good news for students. Several school districts in North Texas are canceling classes on April 8th. I think they should. I mean, the last total eclipse was in 2017. Jen Sullivan talks to a travel expert about where to go and maybe the best way to experience it, of course, right here in North Texas. Do you still have those special solar eclipse viewing glasses? You may have another opportunity to use them. On April 8th, a total solar eclipse will be visible to millions of people in North America, 32 million in the U.S. alone. I saw the last solar eclipse and there is really something magical. Expedia travel expert Melanie Fish says this eclipse will be visible in more areas than the Great American Eclipse in 2017. This time the solar eclipse covers a much more populated path of totality. So that means a lot more people are going to have a chance to see it. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on the earth that fully or part partially blocks the sun's light, creating darkness like this during the day. Mexico's Pacific Coast will experience the total eclipse first, then the path enters the U.S. and goes up to Newfoundland, Canada. People in 15 states will be able to view the phenomenon, and lodging is already in high demand. Availability is getting tight for hotels to stay in and vacation rentals in the path of totality. This year's rare site falls around spring break, which is already a popular time to travel. So book accommodations, flights and car rentals now. For those who have the week off, Fish suggests planning an entire trip around the solar eclipse. So pick a place where there are other things to see and do. Most importantly, plan ahead. Don't just wing it and hit the road and say, I'm going to drive to wherever the eclipse is. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.